The Bell Model 206 Jet Ranger is a five-place, single-engine, light civil helicopter based on Bell Helicopter Company's OH-4. The first Bell 206 flew on January 10, 1966, and the aircraft was revealed later that month at the Helicopter Association of America convention. On October 28, 1966, the Jet Ranger received FAA certification. The 206A was powered by an Allison 250C18 turboshaft engine rated at 370 shaft horsepower, and it rated to 317 shaft horsepower, the transmission's limit. The later 206B and 206B2 had a 400 horsepower 250C20 engine, and 206B3 had 250C20B engine installed, which produced 420 shaft horsepower. The helicopter's transmission, however, is limited to 317 horsepower input. The basic shape and design of the Jet Ranger remained unchanged since 1967, but Bell introduced the 206 b Jet Ranger II in 1971. In 1977, the 206 b 3 Jet Ranger III was introduced with its modified tail rotor and more powerful engine. The Jet Ranger is popular with news media for traffic and news reporting. The helicopter is 39 feet, 8 inches, 12.090 meters, long, with rotors turning. On standard skid landing gear, the overall height is 9 feet, 4 inches, 2.845 meters. The main rotor has a diameter of 33 feet, 4 inches, 10.262 meters, and turns counterclockwise, as seen from above. The empty weight is approximately 1,700 pounds, 771 kilograms, depending on installed equipment, and its maximum gross weight is 3,200 pounds, 1,451.5 kilograms. The 206B was powered by an Allison 250C20B turboshaft engine. The Allison Model 250 is a highly successful turboshaft engine family, originally developed by the Allison Engine Company in the early 1960s. The Model 250 powers a large number of helicopters and small aircraft. As a result, nearly 30,000 Model 250 engines have been produced. An important design feature of the Model 250 engine is its modular construction which greatly simplifies maintenance and repair activity. Also the unique reverse flow design provides for ease of hot section maintenance. There are four modules, compressor module, at the front of the engine, gearbox module, including accessory drives, turbine module, including V-shaped exhaust ports, combustion module, including twin compressed air transfer ducts, at the rear. On 1 August 1977 Francis Gary Powers, a pilot and news reporter for KNBC Television in Los Angeles, California, was flying the company's Jet Ranger a camera and transmitter equipped Bell Model 206 b He and a cameraman, George R. Spears, had been reporting on the aftermath of the disastrous Sycamore Canyon fire in Santa Barbara County and were returning to their base, near the Ventura Freeway in Burbank.
At approximately 12.35 p.m., the jet ranger was eastbound, about one mile southwest of Van Nuys Airport. Powers called Van Nuys Tower and requested to land there as the helicopter was low on fuel. The last transmission was, TV4 just lost, and then only silence. Francis Gary Powers was a highly experienced airplane pilot. At the time of the crash, Powers had 7,193 total flight hours, with 381 hours in the Bell 206. He had attended the Bell 206B pilot transition training course at the Bell Helicopter Training School, Fort Worth, Texas. Powers, returning from covering the fire in Santa Barbara for Channel 4 News, flew past the Santa Barbara Municipal Airport, Oxnard Airport, and Camarillo Airport, all of which were almost directly along his course, and all of which could have provided fuel for the Bell 206. Powers passed those airports, but just a few miles short of his destination, one mile to the southwest of Van Nuys Airport, the helicopter's turboshaft engine stopped because of fuel starvation. The jet ranger crashed in an open field. Both Powers and his cameraman, George Robert Spears, were killed. The wreck showed that the jet ranger was completely destroyed on impact. It appears to have struck the ground in a nose-down attitude. An engine failure over a large, level open space, should have resulted in no damage to the aircraft or injuries to its occupants. The auto-rotation characteristics of the Bell 206 series helicopters are excellent, among the best of any helicopter. The extent of the damage to the airframe, though, when compared to the relatively slight damage to the main rotor assembly, convinces Deer that the helicopter was not in auto rotation, but in free fall. The main rotor blades were not turning within the auto rotation. This crash was caused by human error. On October 25, 1991, a Bell 206 carrying rock music concert promoter Bill Graham his girlfriend Melissa Gold, and pilot Steve Kahn crashed into a transmission tower west of Vallejo, California, killing everyone on board. The cause of the accident was determined to be the pilot's intentional flight into known adverse weather conditions. On February 11, 2019, Brazilian journalist Ricardo Bocha and the pilot were killed when Bell 206B crashed into a truck while attempting an emergency landing on a highway. In 1983, Australian businessman Dick Smith became the first helicopter pilot to complete a solo trip around the world in 260 flight hours. During the trip, he landed his 206 B3 on pre-position container ships to refuel between Japan and the Aleutian Islands. On July 22, 1994, Ron Bauer landed his 206 B3 at Hearst, Texas, setting a new record for around-the-world flight by a helicopter. Bauer had departed on June 24 and returned 24 days, 4 hours, 36 minutes and 24 seconds later, averaging 35.62 knots. 
Bauer had added a 91 US gallon auxiliary fuel tank, which doubled the Jet Ranger 3's range. Bell helicopter ended production of the Bell 206 B3 version in 2010. Bell intends for the Bell 505 Jet Ranger X to replace the 206 five-seat versions from around 2015 and compete with the Robinson R66. Thank you.